Kevin Cordes has the records in this one when he almost went sub 50 two years ago. That record is unlikely to fall in lane four. The lyrically named Fabian Schwingenschlagel of the University of Missouri from Germany. His third A final of the NCAAs in the 100 breast was eighth as a freshman, sixth last year as a sophomore, but all five swimmers who finished in front of him last year graduated. Yeah, he keeps moving up the chain, and he had a great prelim swimmer, good split on their relay, Missouri's relay, 51-1. The only guy that broke 51 was Peter John Stevens, the guy in lane five from Tennessee. But there are two guarantees here. First, we'll have a brand new champion after four years straight with Kevin Cordes' domination. And Texas won't win because they don't have a swimmer in the race. And look at lane six, seven, and eight. George Washington, Air Force, and Oakland University all represented Andrea Bolognese of George Washington, Michael Barnoski of Air Force, Devin Nowicki of Oakland, three guys from unheralded schools here in the A final. And I love it. I love seeing these mid-major schools get in here and fight with the big boys. You got a Virginia Tech swimmer in there and Fiala, coached by the great Ned Skinner for so many years. So I love it. A lot of non-dominant schools in here. Tennessee, maybe Missouri a little bit, Louisville, but everybody else. And this field really is wide open. All the other ones we've seen so far, you kind of knew who the heavy favorites are. This one really doesn't have a huge favorite. Bobby on swing and Schlagel of Missouri is in lane four, battling it out with Peter Stevens of Tennessee. Stevens from the Republic of Slovenia. One lap to go. Stevens doing a great job for Tennessee. Matt Kreditch, the coach there. Boy, this is going to come down between these two swimmers, and it kind of mirrors what happened on that relay. Stevens outsplit Schwingenschlagel only by a couple tenths on the relay, but Schwingenschlagel might seem like he might have a little bit of advantage. Schwingenschlagel and Stevens, and Fabian Schwingenschlagel. 51.29 to win it for Missouri. And it is the first ever champion for Missouri in any NCAA men's swimming event. What a great swim for the junior from Missouri. Head coach Greg Rodenbaugh coming from such an incredible lineage of great swimmers and coaches has really built this Missouri Tiger swim program up. You can see the halfway turn. Very tight and low, he keeps himself on those turns. And he's got great hip flexibility and the ability to come out of a turn so well. He's got such impressive speed of his kick. Side by side, that was so close all the way to the end. Only 22 one hundredths of a second separated those two swimmers at the end. It was really just a touch. You could see that lunge to the finish that Schwingenschlagel had at the very end. And he knows he won it. So Schwingenschlagel wins it. Peter Stevens of Tennessee second. Michael Barnoski of Air Force finishes in third. How about that? Kid from the Air Force Academy finishing in third. And let's go to the winner who's with Kat. Congratulations, Fabian. Heading into that last lap, it is neck and neck. Can you walk us through what's going on through your mind during that last 25? Um, listen, yeah, just turn around and like, just fought for hell. <laughs> Try to get back. Whew. I don't know, just saying, basically. It was really close, and like, I just repeated everything I did in practice for the last 10 meters, and trapping my hands on the wall. With that win, you're now the first winner ever from the Missouri men's swimming and diving team to have an individual title. How significant is this win to you? Well, it's awesome. It's great for the program, and we are an uprising team, so it basically just represents what we're doing every year, getting better, getting better. And it shows that we have a pretty good breaststroke group, and that pays off. I'd say it's a pretty good breaststroke group. Congratulations. We have more than 50 teams represented at this event. Almost 40 of them have scored so far. And Rowdy, at the top, we have the usual suspects.